this is just going to be a really short tutorial on how to get the local and global IP address. So first of all we're just going to program it, it's only a couple of lines and then at the end I'll explain it. So if you already understand the code or know what it is then you can skip that. But let's program it. So first of all make a try catch. Then just copy it and paste it under. And the first one you can just write system out print line and then say a local IP and then say plus inet address dot get localhost dot get host address. And then in the catch you can just write the same system print out line and just say error error and then just plus ex dot get message or you could also just say ex dot print stack trace and you can just copy this error message and paste it in the second catch and then this track catch you're going to say string url equals http colon slash slash valentine source dot com slash global ip dot php and if you watched my hunt for the global IP uh, tutorial, uh, not a tutorial, but it was kind of kind of tutorial. It's, it's just me typing. Um, I discovered a site where I could only, where I could get the global IP, and that was it. Nothing HTML to remove from the from the code that I received. But that site got closed or something because I can't access that site anymore. So I just made my own. If you type this URL into your browser, it'll just take you here, and the only thing you can see is your global IP. And also, if you just stop just looking at the source, it's the only thing there. So that's why. And I will never remove this site, so don't worry. You can always use that for getting global IP. But I'm just going to I'm going to make a buffered reader br equals new buffered reader parentheses and just skip to the no line new input stream reader parentheses new URL parentheses URL and then jump out of the first parentheses ending parentheses and then just say dot open stream parentheses and then just you can press control shift O to import all of the stuff and it also sorts your import so if there's some imports you don't need it'll remove it and just uh, need hotkey hotkey then just say string receive equals br dot read line and then just say system out print line global out, uh, ip plus receive now if we test the program it just needs a couple of sec seconds because it needs to connect to a website so it'll print out the local IP and the global IP okay so if you don't need anything explained to this code or need to explain what the difference between between local and global IP is then you can just stop watching now but what else I'm just going to explain it now okay the first one here we are connecting to the class inet where we are getting the local IP address and in the second down here we are connecting this buffer reader and input stream reader we are opening a connection to my website and it just reads the first line here at the receive and then it just reads the first line and print it out so what is the difference between the local and the global IP well most of your computer users are connected to a router most people are nobody's hooked directly into your internet stay in the wall and therefore we have a router in between and the router don't send the direct IP a global IP address out to the computers because then it don't know who requests what so if two computers hooked up to a router then and two of the computers are trying to go onto two different websites then it needs a kind of number for each of them so it knows who requests what and that's why we have a local IP but if you 
host a server on your computer, you can't just send the local IP out because that's it's the local IP. You need to send them the global IP, and then of course you need to have port forwarded your uh, router uh, so that it can be it can be detected through that. And I also have a video about how to port forward, and it's in the description if you need that. Um. So yeah, the global IP is the global IP, what you can use to send to everybody in the whole world and they'll be able to connect to your your computer or your IP address if your um, router or computer is open and hosting a server. And the local is the IP you have in your local network, so all the people that are connected to your, your router will be able to find your computer by using your local IP. So yeah, that's just the differences between that. Um, nothing more to say to that, so I hope you liked the tutorial. Thank tutorial, thanks for watching. I really appreciate if you gave a like or a comment. And if you like my tutorials and you aren't subscribed, then yeah, you can always subscribe. But until next time, see you later.